Chris Hordeski making his long-awaited return to the IFL ring. He was itching to get back, boss. Yeah. He really wants to be in there. Everyone expected him All to be right, the Chris. IFL lightweight champion. It didn't work out. Late, late Nate Lamont steps in as the local guy. Definitely the underdog on this one. Yes, he is, but you know, it's uh, fighting as an underdog, it's always more relaxed for you, and it's the relaxed fighters that do the best in the ring. Now, Hordeski's got a good head on his shoulder, and uh, he will be very calm. Uh, and he's been under fire. I mean, he trains with great fighters. Mark Hominy, Sam Stout, all these guys there at Extreme Couture, where Sean Thompson trains also. The list goes on and on. I would not be surprised if Nate Lamont would, tries to take this bout to the mat right away. Strong wrestler. Yeah, it would be the smartest thing to do. Why roll the dice and stand with Chris Hordeski, but that's mixed martial arts. Got to be well-rounded. Yep. Chris has great takedown defense, good wrestling background. Let's see if he can use it. Lamont landed with the knee and then right away Hordeski counters here. Hordeski moving forward. We know he has a chin. The two exchange. Everybody has a chin. Yeah, ah, ah, you got it. Just think back to that uh, Chad Lyerly fight. Those two, it was an absolute war. He's trying to create some distance, but uh, Nate Lamotta is constantly pushing forward. He doesn't want to give him that distance. He should work body, head, that's what Chris should do. Chin down. To bring the hands down. Now that's across. cross. Hit, Nate hit, Lamotta should attack hit. with some Close fire. Up, he knows. Let's listen in now there to Hordeski's coach, Sean Tompkins. Go, Patience. He's breathing heavy already. Double up, cross. Double up. Push him away. There you go. Get that center for me. Good boy. There you go. On the way up. Hardening. Jab left hook cross. It's there for you, son. It's there for you. Two inside switch high. Hip, hip. There you go. There you so go. Far, Nate back Lamont to center. Back to center. Backing down, he came in, he's got 10 yeah. professional MMA fights to his credit. This is the biggest fight of his young career, that's for sure. How crazy is that against a 20 year old kid? He's got a reach advantage too. That's right. Catch kick to by Lamont, but you're right, Hordeski catches it, not much damage done there. Oh, two fire. You gotta watch out for that crazy overhand. That made him break his hand in his fight against Shed Lyerly. Nice strike, and then comes back with a low kick. Rodeski. Starts to get into his element now. Lamont is still dangerous, though. Rodeski seems to be finding his range, but Lamont lands with a short jab. Rodeski counters with a low kick. Yep, that's like three already. Yep, those will take their toll. That's the target, yep, but he's going to follow up the whole time now. That's just another kick attempt. We have 30 seconds to go here in this first round lightweight bout between Chris Hordeski and Nate Lamont. Oh, oh, high kick just misses by Hordeski. Boss seems to be finding his range at this time. Yep. Gotta watch out. Oh. 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 Going for a takedown. That'll do it for round number one. Professional defeat. Where was his mind going to be? Looks like he's right back into it. Yeah, took him a little bit, but now he's back into the game. Still about two minutes. Yeah, that's about it. Shook it off very quickly, which he said he would in the two exchange in the center of the IFL ring. There we go. Everything that Lamont is uh, striking, he, he counters already. A little surprised that Lamont has not tried to shoot in and take this to the canvas. Seems to be happy exchanging. There's another one of those Hordeski low kicks. 
Yes. Oops. Ball is up with the knee. Two fighters Fresh clinch up the in the corner. Nate Lamont, known as the future, <laughs> making his IFL debut, but he comes in here on a three-fight winning streak. Yeah, that gives you some confidence. You saw there uh, Hardesky giving a left straight to the thigh of Lamont. That's actually right, something right. I did one time in Thai boxing. I gave him so many lugs, he just started hitting his legs with my legs. Well, you have trained with Chris Hordesky, so maybe the kid learned something from you. There you go. Nice. Another low kick. Those low kicks hurt the most because he's turning away from it, and when you once you turn away, you can't flex your thighs. And then those kicks. Oh, are like, oh, nice oh. takedown by Lamont. Hold up, just a See, and that's Hold what up. I said, you know, he should commit to his strikes, so they need to defend it and then go for the thing, and he did it. Well, referee Dan Mergliotta turns him around. Berdeski was hanging out of the IFL ring, so, and now Lamont firing some shots, posturing up, and coming down with some a hammer shot that landed. Now he has to hold on out. That image is probably still in his head here. That's right. Was so from a different position, but still the ground. It is on the bottom. We're looking for a side choke there. Deski holds on. Lamont being very active from top position, and the hammer shots begin to come down. Yep, and he used the cross face to break that grip, which is a very good thing to do. Sure, Lamont checked out some film from the Hordeski Schultz fight. Yep. Nice kick from the Hordeski to get this fight back standing up. Very nice. Good action here in the second round, and Hordeski fires a run. Big overhead, nice job. And now follows up with a knee. Hordeski's the kind of person he gets, he gets angry. And as you can see, he's getting angry here. Yes, he is. None of his 12 fights have uh -oh. ever ended by a submission. Go with shorts, Chris. Go with shorts. He is dynamite. There's no doubt about it. Under a minute here in the second round. Oh, nice. Bogeski oh, showing a great combo. Moving forward. Kick to the body here. And the ball's getting tired a little bit. Start breathing heavy. It's very difficult to flex your muscles at the right time to defend that kick to the body. Hordeski having a lot of success with the kicks, both high and low. So we have 10 seconds to go here in round number two. Very smart here from Lamont. Pulling guard. And taking it to the mat. Right. Third and final round for this IFL lightweight bout between Chris Hordeski and Nate Lamont. In a very entertaining fight so far. Not many people gave Lamont much credit coming in, but he's holding his own right now. Hordeski has scored more with strikes and kicks, but Lamont has got a couple takedowns and then scored with some ground and pound, and there's another low kick from Hordeski. Yep. Stiff one, though. Lamont coming forward. No respect here. No, he's continued to move forward this yeah. entire bout. Straight kick. Misses. And a spinning fist by Lamont. Beautiful. Center. Center. Be patient. That overhand right is there for you, son. Beautiful. Back to work. Circle. Circle. We're going for the right hand. Let's get that left up nice and high. Don't be scared to throw that cross down low. Nice. Go over top. You're good, son. Sean Tompkins has leg. known Chris Hordeski since he was 13, Center. boss. Yeah. Good. These two Center. have a very close relationship. Cross, outside. There it is. Another That's low what I kick. Want. Cut off to the right. 
Are you saying circle? Oh, Double jab now. Get him strikes. back. Double pump. There you go. You can't deal with your jab. Jab did get through, and there was a nice combo. Yep. Raised him, though. He needs to connect. Is that right? Gilmar just comes back. He goes for a kick. Halfway down here. It's a tough one to call so far. Yes. Chris Hordeski returns to the IFL ring for the first time since losing to Ryan Schultz in the IFL Grand Prix Finals. Needs to get a win here tonight against a very game Nate Lamont. Nice combination by Hordeski. Yep, Back to the low kick. Yep, Nate Lamont doesn't want to have anything with those low kicks anymore. But it's a little bit too late, I think, to knock him out. Just to make it a technical look. I have felt about three four minute rounds. Now Lamont ties Hordeski up. He's looking for another takeout. Sprawl by Hordeski. Are you surprised that Hordeski isn't a little more aggressive at this point? Maybe a little gassed at this at this stage? Yep, I think. Oh, he's got to watch out there. He's got to watch out with the road to get a warning from the guy in the third round. Cannot afford to lose a point at this stage. Under a minute to go in the third round. In a very tight fight, surprisingly. Lamont, this is where he has had success in this fight. From the top position, grounding and pounding. Scores again, going to work. Trying to finish this fight strong. 30 seconds to go in the third round. This is the time the judges will remember. Yep. Make an impression. And Le Nate Lamont is doing exactly that. Wow, he's doing a good job. Is it going to be enough? 10 seconds to go. Chris Hordeski's almost falling out of the ring. And Dan Merkliata, our referee, pulls him back in. He wanted it to continue, but that's going to do it. Very entertaining bout between Chris Hordeski and Nate Lamont. Let's now go up to ring announcer Tim Hughes for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we turn it over to the judges scorecard and they give us back a unanimous decision. All three judges, Crosby, Bittencourt, Mason, score the bout 29-28 for your winner, Chris the Polish Hammer. Don't miss the International Fight League's action-packed night of mixed martial arts at Mohegan Sun Arena Friday, May 16th. For tickets, visit the Mohegan Sun box office or log on to Ticketmaster.com now. Tap into IFL.TV, log on and step inside the ring.